I'm Bruce Hamilton from News for Jax. The head of Jacksonville's office that handles children's programs was placed on paid leave. News for Jax reported that Joe Peppers, CEO of the Kids Hope Alliance, is under investigation by the city's inspector general. Last September, Peppers wrote an email to two city employees that said he was pressured by the mayor's top staffers to steer grant money for a Stop the Violence campaign to certain groups. The city's chief administrative officer, Brian Hughes, released a statement saying Peppers was never pressured to do anything unethical. A 19-year-old who deputies said posted a gun threat on Snapchat in May when he was a senior at Interlochen High School is accused of making another school threat. Deputies said Crow approached Interlochen High School students at a bus stop and held a conversation about coming back and shooting up the school. He was booked into the Putnam County Jail where he is being held without bond. After reviewing a petition to place a half-cent sales tax resolution on a ballot, a judge decided the Clay County Board of Commissioners can choose when the referendum will go before voters. That means the commission does not have to place the measure on a ballot this year, which the Clay County School Board had requested. And the Jaguars at least got on the scoreboard. That was about it for offensive highlights in a 24-10 loss to the Philadelphia Eagles in the second preseason game of the season. The news continues on Channel 4 and NewsForJax.com. I'm Bruce Hamilton. Have a great day.